Auto Road here, and I am at I-80 in Kearney, Nebraska, at the Gateway Museum. Buckle up, kids. You're about to take a ride on the toll road. In July of the year 2000, the Great Platte River Road Archway Monument opened over Interstate 80 in Kearney, Nebraska. If you're traveling east or west down I-80, this is about halfway through the state, give or take. Pull off, take a quick pick, or you can go inside and check out a little museum, which is what we're going to try to do cost of $12 per adult, you can visit the museum which explores the history of the Platte River area in Nebraska. I got here about five minutes before they opened, so we'll take a little time to check out some of these statues outside. This one is called Hannah and Elizabeth. Some more hard-working farmers here. Esther, there's a name you just don't hear enough anymore, and I'm thinking Sanford and Son probably ruined it for everybody. And here's Aunt Anton. Look at him wiping that sweat from that brow. Monument to the Homestead Act. Finally, little boy at work, little Joseph, barefoot Joseph, spreading some seed. Look at the characters along the other side. At the bottom of the hill on the right, a Native American man is showing a mountain trapper the way to Fort Carney. On the left, a permanent Another pioneer waves his arms as a wagon train passes by. I was born in the city of Carney, and I grew up hearing legends of the Great Platte River Road. Since the 1840s, millions of Americans have passed this way, heading west to follow their dreams. Now, go up the escalator. Shows how 
how the Oregon Trail, California Trail, and Mormon Trail flowed together from Fort Kearney to South Pass, then split again. Now continue to the next room, where you see three large portraits, a Native American chief, a woman, and a prospector. What happened when the pioneers reached the end of the trail? Some found the better life they dreamed of. We are located on the west bank of the Willamette River, about 20 miles above Oregon City. A very pleasant situation. Our friend Sally Hester made it to California with her family. We have met a number of nice men here. I am too young for a bow, but the young men don't seem to think so. Margaret Frank got there safely too. California. want everything quicker and easier than our parents have. Transcontinental Railroad. The neon sign overhead welcomes you to our nation's first transcontinental highway system, the Lincoln Highway. Folks called it the Main Street of America. My grandpa told me about driving the Lincoln Highway back in the 1920s, when a vacation on wheels was a brand new idea. To share that excitement, here's one of the highway's first promoters. Greetings, fellow motorists. I'm the Reverend Albert Bell. I'm here to tell you about a true patriotic enterprise, an idea so big and yet so simple that it appeals to millions. I mean the Lincoln Highway. A system of roads stretching 3,400 miles from ocean to ocean. To 
Today, you can drive from New York City Street to San Francisco, crossing 15 states along the way. America's most respected businessmen agree that the Lincoln Highway will surpass the Panama Canal in tangible benefit to this country. Now, I know some of you are skeptical. You've heard preposterous claims, as this lady has. I heard the Lincoln Highway went straight across. Nonsense. It is an imaginary line, like the equator. And I will not mislead you. The Lincoln Highway does not bisect the country perfectly, nor travel a straight line. But I say, summon up your courage and make the trip. You will open your eyes to the rich history and natural beauty of our great nation, as this gentleman the hidden fix, romance, and adventure are things of the past. Get a motor car and head west on the Lincoln Highway with the determination San Francisco or bust. All right, let's see the highway below. Oh, let's catch some people speeding here. What's this truck going at? Yeah, oh, he's, he's legal. There's gotta be someone speeding here. Pull over, you're speeding. Oh, that's going to do it for the toll road here at the I-80 Archway Museum in Kearney, Nebraska. And who knows?